to the House. Thank you. Simon O'Connor, a five-minute call. Thank you very much. Look, please to take a call on this misuse of drugs medicinal cannabis amendment support bill. Um, look, it's no surprise to the House that I'm opposed to recreational use of cannabis, uh, which is why, actually, I support at this first reading uh, this bill. Um, I support this bill uh, for a very particular reason uh, to go to select committee in the first reason, because if it's done right, the bill actually has the potential to clearly delineate uh, between recreational effect of pot smoking for whatever good reason or intention or otherwise and cannabinols that are used in a proper medical uh, fashion. Look, the key part of the bill which the Honourable Dr David Clark's put forward and why it gets my support again at this stage is it seeks to set up a proper uh, regulated framework uh, for using cannabinols. Um, I'm not going to get into all the technicalities. I know a lot of people have thrown out the various acronyms and so forth. I don't think we should be bamboozled by them. In fact, I encourage people to go and look at them closely. Uh, but we are talking particularly here about cannabinols. So what we want here is a framework that treats this product, this plant, like any other real medicine. And I want to put on the record that there is absolutely nothing exceptional about cannabis. Compared to any other plant that we derive uh, pharmaceutical products from. Um, so as I say, we have a real opportunity here, uh, Minister, to create a proper framework. Because real medicine, uh, works in a scientific framework. It's a framework that's rational, it's repeatable, it's measurable. As I say, it's a framework that's scientific, it's medical, it's pharmacological. Uh, it's a framework that does not and never does accept anecdotes and hearsay. It's a framework where quality and quantity are accurately known, where medicine is properly dispensed and titrated. Um, put perhaps simply in another way, uh, putting the word medicinal in front of something doesn't make it a medicine. Okay, there is a medicinal LSD push in the UK at the moment, and I may have joked somewhat uh, to Green Party members, but me medical meth is really good for depression, briefly. So if we are to develop, Minister, a regulated framework where cannabidols are treated like any other proper medicine in the rational, reasonable, scientific sense, then I think we're on to a winner. And I suspect the Minister knows that already as do those who worked in the health field, because we have the likes of Sativex and Tilray, and they're making a real difference in really particular uh, areas. Um, if that's not where this bill goes, if we fall into a, effectively a deliberate delusion, and that's using, using rather the suffering of some to justify the recreational pot use of others, then we're in, a, I would suggest, a rather abusive uh, situation. As I've said before, you don't smoke medicine uh, any more than you huff ibuprofen. So we do have an opportunity here. I commend the Minister for bringing this. There are multiple problems, I would suggest, with a whole lot of elements in the bill. But this particular area, the opportunity to create a proper medical pharmacological framework, is a real opportunity uh, for people. And I suspect my final comment may be not so much out of scope in this reading, but of the bill. It comes down to funding what's already out there. And, um, you know, there are proper medical pharmacological products out there in the cannabidiol space. Um, getting access to those through funding is probably the first pragmatic step than moving down uh, the line of just making this particular non-exceptional plant uh, available. Let's take what is out there already, the likes of the Tilray's and the Sativex. I better be clear, I don't have any particular uh, links to those products, but the ones accepted at the moment. Uh, let's find the funding. Uh, for those. When I've been out in the community over the, the last few years when I was Chair of Health, that was one of the things that was very clearly articulated. It's have the funding for it first. So on that very particular uh, point that we have a framework potential here to be developed, uh, I support this bill to select committee and we'll follow it uh, closely. Speaker. Andrew Warren-Clark. Uh, Happy New Year to you.